Hi you guys. Oh my gosh, I am so tired. I spent most of the morning filming for a DIY video for the fall that I am putting out hopefully early next week. I just turned on the Keurig because I want that on because I'm actually going to go have a nap right now. I'm so tired and I feel like not fully into the projects that I'm working on right now and I think it's because I'm so tired. So I'm going to have a nap on the couch and I put on it's the great pumpkin Charlie Brown. This will be on the background while I have a nap and then I'm going to set my alarm for maybe like an hour and then when I get up I'm going to have some chili that I made last night, a cup of coffee and I'm going to see if I can get these videos done and I'm waiting for one of my DIYs to dry. Stay tuned! I absolutely love filming fall videos and I'm excited to bring them to you. But yeah, I'm going to curl up on the couch, have a little power nap and get some more stuff done. to sit down and edit some vlog footage. I have a ton, a ton of vlog footage from the past week or so. So I wanna get that split up into about two vlogs, I'm hoping. I just finished filming one DIY. I attempted a second. Um, and it was one of those moments where it was a total DIY fail and I just have to switch out a few products I'm using. So that was really disappointing. Sometimes, I feel like I'm in a funk when it comes to like finding really good content for my channel and really like fun and exciting DIYs um, that are not only affordable but like easy. I know there's so many options out there but it's kind of a bummer when you get really excited about something and then you attempt it and just nothing really seems to be working and it just feels like you're a failure in a certain way which I know is not true and all that but I was just kind of I'm just kind of feeling bummed out right now because I start out the morning with really productive thoughts in my brain, thinking of all this stuff I'm going to get done, and I did get done a lot today. Um, it's just sometimes you hit a road bump and that's okay, you don't give up, like not everything in life is super easy and simple, and you have to problem solve, and <laughs> these are just some DIYs, but it, it hurts a little bit because I love fall and I love my fall videos on my channel and I want to bring you guys really fun, exciting things. So when something like this happens, it just kind of feels eh, but it's okay. I'm going to move on past it. I'm going to get the other supplies I need and I'm going to complete it. Um, might be a little later than I would like to have it all done, but that's okay. I still have to plan um, out one of the DIYs. I know what I'm doing, but I just want to make sure before I start filming and have a good idea of the way I want to go about it, if that makes any sense. But you can stay tuned and it will all make sense when you see the video and I really hope it's something that you guys really enjoy. Hi guys! I got my hair all tied out of my face. I just look so lovely. Um, and I got my house going on. I'm super comfy. But I am making vanilla pudding cookies tonight. Jordan and I went out and we were talking about a snack we might want to have. And I said I would make cookies, and he wanted vanilla pudding cookies, so that's what I'm doing. And I wanted to set the mood because the kitchen's all nice and clean, I wanted to feel all folly. So I got my bowl out and everything, the recipe. Back here I have um, my apple pumpkin from Bath & Body Works, and I got this candle holder I made last year. Then over in this corner, I kind of wanted something here, so I just went all out for fall. Yeah, I need to preheat the oven. What does it want me to preheat the oven to? 350. So, I'll do that now. And I'm gonna get going on these cookies. And put the first batch in the oven, and probably got about two more batches to go here. And I need to wash these. I rinse them all, I have to put these away. And yeah, Simpsons is on TV. Here's the cookies, you guys, and um, I had to flatten these myself. When they first came out, they looked like little balls, like they did not flatten out at all. And those are the kind of vanilla cookie, vanilla pudding cookies I remember making. So I don't know if I did something wrong in the mixing process. The only thing I can think of is that 
I was supposed to cream the pudding mix with the butter and sugar first and then add the eggs, but I added the eggs before by accident. So I don't know if that was it, but um, they look flat only because I literally squished them down with the spatula. Um, I'm looking for the recipe where they just kind of like flatten out on their own and get really thin. So if you guys have any tips, please let me know. And I got another batch in the oven. These made about 34 cookies in total. I have been home from work for probably like three or four hours now. Um, I had a bunch of tying to do. So I cleaned the bathroom, I tied up our room, I did a bunch of laundry, then I cleaned our kitchen, and I also, when I first got home, I worked on some fall DIYs for my upcoming fall DIY decor video, which I'm really, really excited to bring you guys. So stay tuned for that. I attempted to do a few DIYs and, well, one DIY, and I was feeling not really into it and just not really happy with the result and it didn't really feel like something I wanted to put on my channel and share with you guys because I wasn't really proud of it. So I felt kind of like taking a step back and I felt kind of just bummed out and then I was like, you know what, stop. You, you can't just like do everything right the first time you try it. You can't always feel amazing about something that you're creating. Like that's not life, that's not how it works and I can't just like mope about something not working out for me or like not really being happy with the end result and all I can do really is just keep trying. <laughs> so that's what I'm trying to do, stay positive and I felt so good I took a day away from it and then I replanned like totally new DIYs that I want to do that I'm really really excited to share with you guys. So please stay tuned for that. I'm hoping to get the rest of the supplies this weekend and finish filming it for you guys. So yes, stay tuned for that. But I thought I would show you like fall threw up in my kitchen and I love it. Okay, so first you guys have seen all this stuff. Nice clean stove because I just cleaned the kitchen. But right here, if you remember my DIY decor fall edition from 2015, I show you how I made this guy, and if you're interested, I will link the video down below. And then, do do do, got all my dishes right there. But this corner, I liked having a bunch of I like having a bunch of candles on in the kitchen when I'm doing dishes. It just kind of like makes it feel not so boring, I suppose. And I don't know if I showed you, I did move my clock in the corner over here, and I'm really liking it. I don't think all this fall decor is going to stay here. I just kind of put a bunch of candles here so I could like set a mood in my kitchen while I clean. This is the DIY that I made. I'm not super happy with it. I'm um, like, I think it looks nice and cute, but just not really something that I was super excited about sharing. Um, this is just Mod Podge and sparkles inside a pumpkin shaped dish that I found at Michael's and then I just wrapped some ribbon around it. Pretty simple, but yeah. I wasn't super excited about it. And then I got my pumpkin apple candle burning away and just some fall decor and then another leaf lantern. Also when I was working on the DIY for the video or one of the DIYs for the video, um, I got really inspired uh, and I made this. It's a canvas and I just spray painted gold over some fall foliage and I'm gonna write a quote on it. This isn't a DIY that's going to be in my new video. This is just something I wanted to do. So if you want to know how I did it, just lay down some fall leaves and spray paint over it on a canvas. That's all you got to do. And then do whatever you want with it. You can leave it like this. But for me, I'm going to put like a fall quote on it. And I don't know if I'm going to use these metallic Sharpies or if I'm going to actually go over with acrylic paint and like freehand something like that. That is it. I'm going to relax for the rest of the night. I want to try and get to the gym tomorrow morning so I don't want to be up too late. I have some laundry that I have to hang up. Um, but other than that, I'm just hanging out. It is a Tuesday evening, beginning of the week, but tomorrow's hump day, so that's always exciting. My face is so shiny. I just showered and put moisturizer on so I look extra greasy for you guys. I hope you like it. <laughs> Anywho, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye. Good morning, you guys, and happy Wednesday. Um, I'm about to head to work. I just got all my coffee and everything together, and I thought I would show you my outfit of the day because I kind of like it. It's kind of cute. Um, so, don't mind the mess you see behind me. So, let's take off my scarf. First, my scarf is from Blue Notes. It's, um, and I have to pull my pants up a bit. 
scarf is from Blue Notes. It's this really pretty fall like blanket scarf and I love it. My crop top is from Forever 21. These high waisted kind of acid wash black jeans are from Forever 21. And this burgundy cardigan is from Ardeen's. But yeah, for makeup, I just did some eyeliner, some neutral colors, and I'm gonna put on some lipstick. And then I just did some braids along the side to get it out of my face. And yeah, so I'm not sure what color I'm gonna use. I might use this one, which is just called the T Rose one from e.l.f. So, okay. Makeup is officially done. I did T Rose on my lips, and I really, really like it. But I. Totes got to get going, you know. So, yeah. I got my bag all set up. I got my banana, my water, my coffee, and I am ready to go. Hello, you guys. It's Wednesday evening. Uh, went to work, and then when I came home, sorry, there's something on my camera. And then when I came home, worked on some DIYs, ate some food, <laughs> laid on the couch so I was going to pass out, and I was watching... So my favorite shows, which is Wheel of Fortune and now Jeopardy's on. And I promised Jordan I would make more of the, more cookies, which I showed you guys the other night. Yeah, I did. Because they didn't turn out the way we wanted to, so I thought I would try another recipe. And I promised I would make them, and then I was like, I'm too tired. But now I feel like I have a bit more energy. But the recipe says the eggs and the butter have to be at room temperature. So they just came out of the fridge. So I guess I have to wait a little bit and it's already what time is it? 7.56. So I'm sure I could prepare everything and we'll, we'll see. Might be a late night but that's okay. Okay, I am back. It's been a little while later. I have pre-mixed all the dry ingredients. I have the sugars here waiting i have the oven preheated and i have the eggs on top just to help them get to room temperature and they're actually feeling quite good now so i'll probably get this all done soon and then i'm gonna nuke the butter just a little bit because i don't think it's exactly room temperature right now but while i did that i was able to get the dishes done and you guys i still need to empty my k-cups i'm such a stickler for recycling that all I, but I'm also lazy so I'll leave a pile of them until I feel like opening them all up and disposing of them anyway aside from that I'm gonna get these cookies going okay so I have a heaping tablespoon of cookie dough um, divvied up on the thing and I just greased it with butter we have a lot this is just one pan so far so what is that, six, seven, eight cookies? I'm probably gonna be here for a while. They have to go in for 10 to 12 minutes. And these are the vanilla pudding um, chocolate chip cookies. I'm going to link the recipe down in the down bar if I really like them. And yeah, so here they go. Here are the cookies, you guys. They turned out perfectly. They are delicious. They are not one bit healthy. <laughs> so if you're on some sort of junk food kick, don't use this recipe, but if you want like one of the best chocolate chip cookies ever, check out the recipe in the down bar. Also, I showed you earlier this canvas I painted. I did a DIY and it's a pumpkin out of um, twigs and stuff and I really, really like it. I'm really happy with it. I'm gonna try and get a better photo, but super cute and happy with this DIY.